I am a raging bedwetter. <laughs> Surprisingly, women still sleep with me. I mean, I warn them and everything, you know, I'm like, all right, uh, that was fun. <laughs> Lasted a lot longer than I thought I would. I uh, set the alarm for 4.30. Uh, when it goes off, you're going to want to move to the couch. <laughs> I will remain here in a puddle of my own juices. Yeah. It was really nice meeting you. I lost my sanity way before I moved to New York City. But the possibility of getting it back since I've moved here, I've breathed the air, it's diminished considerably. I take my jobs in the park, strut for ladies so hot. The steam rises from their heels to our congested cars, two showers a day. With these toxic juices seeping into my skin from our skyscraping jungle. You love it, then you hate it. Praise it, then degrade it. Some of you should admit you just can't take it. Why can't we sit back and see? We're so damn lucky to be in the NYC. tunnels of rapid aging, bodies sweltering. Certain ethnicities have certain odors. Like, uh, like there's a George Foreman girl stuck in their shirt. It's cooking up some kind of Thai-flavored homemade meat pie. There's those other guys sitting on the subway with their legs as far apart as they can. It's far apart. I'm like, listen, bud, I know your dick's probably two inches from the floor, but why don't you fold up the tripod and let me sit down, okay? <laughs> so I sit down next to him with a... <sighs> whatever. Boom. Wax me in the face with it. And then there were those other days where you're running for the train. It's do or die time. You're huddling over old ladies. You're bobbing and weaving through baby carriages. You get in and the door closes on you. Ah, my leg. My leg! Somebody pull me in! Pull me in! We're moving! And then those other days, there's that girl across the platform. And she keeps looking down the wrong way of the tunnel. Huh, and the train's coming from that way. You checking me out? Of course she is! So I play it mysterious, you know? She doesn't know who I am. Maybe I'm a painter. Maybe we can paint some pictures. Naked. <laughs> and then, you know, I really, I really have to say I feel sorry for the ladies in New York City. Because there are men checking you out constantly. Constantly. You know, there's a certain number of men that pass you every day. And uh, they say to themselves, I do her. 
So, we'd like to magically whisk you away to the New York City Game Show where beauty is only skin deep. That's right, the game show, Who Do You? I'm your host, Richard Chafing, and with me always is Doop Doop Doody. Gary, get my name right. And with me always is Doop Doop Diarrhea. Gary, enough with the shit jokes. And with me as always is Doop Doop Dumpling. Hey! I said dumpling, it's a Chinese delicatessen. Butt munch. Ship breath. Suck so! <laughs> Always trying to get the last I word. Like facing off I, 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 hey! Don't make me break out the whip. So, we're gonna go through our studio audience and ask a number of meaningless questions to our young ladies out here. All leading up to that one question. How many guys pass you every day and say, they do yet? So, hi there, miss. Uh, where are you from? What's your name? That's great. I'm really interested to hear about that. Wow. So, uh, how many men pass you every day and say, they do you? Three. She says three. Well, let's check with our panel of judges. Doop Doop says seven. Uh, double that up. All right. Now, let's make our way to the other side of this audience. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, miss. How are you? Where are you from? Philly. Wow, Philadelphia. <laughs> That's a great place I hear. <laughs> Never really want to know personally. So, uh, where do you work? Uh, at a property. She works in property. Well, it's the only thing they're not making more of. So, how many men pass you every day and say, uh, they do yet? Seven. Ooh, she went with our last number of judges. She said seven, ladies and gentlemen, seven. Well, our panel of judges says, doop doop, 24! <laughs> oh! You better make that 25. I'm sporting a chubby. So, let's uh, get deep down in our audience. How are you, miss? Uh, you look like you came a long way this evening to see me. Oh, I did. All right, don't want to knock your teeth out with the mic now, do I? <laughs> I'm so smooth. <laughs> so let's uh, let's think. Let's think. Uh, so I don't really care what you do, what your name is. You know, I just uh, care if you're flexible. <laughs> so how many men pass you every day and say uh, they do you? I don't know, ten. Maybe? Oh, she says ten. Well then, our panel of judges, Doop Doop says ninety one. And there's our magic winner for the evening. She wins the grand mystery prize, which is a night alone with our very own Doop Doop Dumpling. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for our show tonight. Thank you. I'm Richard Chafing, and with me always is Doop Doop Dumpling. Have a good night. That's not really the end of the show. I would have ripped you all off. <laughs> Thanks again. Good night. God bless.